serious, what's the scariest fact you know? Totally blind people don't see black, they don't see at all. For some reason that's always frightened me. An interesting fact is that there's never been a blind, from birth, person diagnosed with schizophrenia. Some deaf schizophrenic people see disjointed hands instead of auditory hallucinations. There's a plant that grows in Australia called the Gimpy Gimpy. Touching the plant will result in an unbearable pain because of the small needles on the plant. The pain is so unbearable people and animals killed themselves because of it. There's also a plant called hogweed that can cause severe burns and blisters that can scar you for life. ND animals killed themselves because of it. A brain aneurysm can hit you anytime, anywhere, with next to no warning. Source, watching my otherwise healthy grandma go from happily singing and making dinner to crying about the worst pain she had ever been into being a vegetable in less than an hour. My coworker got a major migraine and started feeling very dizzy while at work. I helped her get a cab to go home, where her husband was, and she ended up going to the hospital that night for an emergency surgery. She was lucky to make it. Spent a month recovering at the hospital. My cousin was 14 years old, no known medical conditions. Had a brain aneurysm in the middle of church one Sunday. Foo. Sucks. Did they recover? A kid I went to elementary school with had one when he was 12. And the last I heard from his parents were that his caretaker was sexually abusing them. Do people recover? I've heard of people recovering, but she didn't. It was a near instant collapse and she passed shortly thereafter. Prion diseases exist. They're not bacteria or viruses, there isn't an infection, per se, to attack. They're basically an alternate form of protein, and we can't stop them. Prions are misfolded proteins, which makes them the origami of diseases. What's worse, there's no cleaning regime that can eradicate those proteins. They can be sitting in a field somewhere for a decade and some random cow chews a blade of grass with it, then you eat that cow and now you're fucked. The fact that rabbits eat their babies when they know they won't survive. Almost all animals do, in a sense it's humane. Cats will just leave their sick babies to the wild to starve to death, rot to death, or get picked apart to death by bugs. I'd take the mom doing the deed over hours of ants any day. Had a cat give birth to 10 babies. She actually did eat one after it died. All communication in the United States is controlled by fewer than 10 companies. All major news in the US is controlled by five companies, including Disney and Comcast. You can have rabies for years before it even shows symptoms, then one day you get a headache and it's a death sentence from there. Edit, if you're worried you have somehow contracted rabies please contact your doctor, don't ask random people on reddit lol. Oh god. I found a dead bat in my apartment like two years ago. Guess I should go get checked before the paranoia sets in. Rabies is so terrifying even though the odds are low of catching it. I knew someone who used to be a public health inspector. He said there was a lady where they found a bat living in her house, and they made her go get a physical to check for bite marks. The doctor actually found bat bites on her. I know the chances of her getting rabies were still low, but imagine a bat biting you for some fucking reason while you're asleep and you don't even know it. A moose can swim about 16 feet slash 5 meters underwater, which is why orcas are natural predators of them. Imagine you're diving underwater, suddenly there's a moose sitting at the bottom eating seagrass, then it gets eaten by an orca. That would be terrifying. My day would be done at that point. That's it for me. Thanks. Your skin is not 100% attached to your body. With enough air pressure beneath the skin, your body will become a balloon with a solid core and it will be excruciating before the embolism kills you. Geologist here. Don't jump into lava. You're mostly water. And lava doesn't just dissolve you. That a large number of asteroids and comets that could potentially hit Earth directly have not even been discovered as of yet, and our ability to actually stop a large object traveling stupidly fast is much worse than depicted in films. The reason they don't hit Earth is cause Jupiter usually pulls them towards itself with its massive gravitational field. Jupiter, I'm trying to chill in my solar orbit, but I'm dummy thick and the gravitational pull of my ass cheeks keeps attracting all the meteors that would have hit Earth. There will be a time when you're thought of for the last time. And any AI smart enough to pass the Turing test would probably also be smart enough to intentionally fail it. 1. You can get a brain-eating amoeba from swimming in a water park, 
lake or river, very rare though. 2. Prions exist and, once you've got them, can't be safely destroyed. Without any kind of flotation device, a 25-pound fish is heavy enough to pull you underwater. A summer camp I used to go to had one of its counselors die from a brain-eating amoeba. It happened quickly and by the time they found out it was too late. If you are ever in a heavily armored tank and get hit, and the fuel starts to burn, you will not die from the shell, but from the heat, so basically getting cooked to death. I'll remember this next time I'm in a heavily armored tank. 70 to 80% of the population believe they are smarter than the average person. It really explains a lot. Yes, but I actually am. That you really do need 7 to 9 hours of sleep every day. Even at 6 hours, the lack of sleep decreases efficiency, productivity, and increases risk of developing dementia and Alzheimer's. Furthermore, it weakens the immune system and handicaps the body's ability to destroy cancer cells, which therefore increases risk of cancers of the breast, colon, ovaries and prostate. The scary part of it is that you can't get back all the sleep that you lose out on because sleep efficiency decreases, so trying to catch up on the weekends it isn't really making up for what you lost throughout the week. Ironically, those who say I can sleep when I'm dead will end up dead quicker because of lack of sleep over time. Edit, these are not claims based on my knowledge. It's based on a two-hour podcast with Dr. Matthew Walker, a professor of neuroscience and psychology. He focuses on the subject of sleep and its impact on human health. Guess I'll die. I sleep horribly and there's no end in sight. Often all it takes is one random act by one random stranger to ruin your day and have your life taken away from you. Just how dangerous the world actually is, basically anything can kill you. If you swim in a lake there is a chance you'll get brain-eating bacteria, if a fly lands on your eye for a nanosecond it's enough time for it to lay eggs in your eyes. Death is always lurking around the corner. When Walt Disney died, he left a note on his desk saying kill Goofy and nobody knows why. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say he left the note because he wanted them to kill Goofy. Geologist here, the Earth's magnetic poles, places your compass point to, are moving at an alarming rate. While they switch, think north compass arrow will point south, every 10,000 years or so, we are overdue for a switch. So like happy 2021 y'all. Also the supervolcano under Yellowstone does technically have the fire power to wipe out much of life on planet Earth, but it's not overdue like many people try to claim it is. That's just fear-mongering. Also there was a point in the past during the Ice Age, I think, where less than 2,000 humans were alive. If it would have been modern humans we would have to put ourselves on the endangered species list. Thank you for listening to another B-Town Reddit Stories episode. Hit the subscribe button and check out our channel for more stories. Let us know your opinion about this topic in the comments.